the minister with you. Uh, so, uh, Victoria, what the Lord is speaking to you, He's saying to you that you are a light that shines in darkness, and He has put an anointing on you to be a facilitator, uh, to have the love and the compassion of God in your life, so that people can come into your life, and they can actually uh, release the glory of God, uh, uh, and they can receive the glory of God, they can receive salvation in their lives, and so the Lord is going to do something amazing in your life. So do not fear uh, for one second, Gloria, uh, because uh, uh, the Lord will heal you through the process. Although you went through uh, trauma in your life, uh, the Lord will heal you even as you minister unto others. God bless you. Hi, Victoria. Yes, um, I got for you that, that there's, there's no reason for the breakthrough not to come. So uh, you're trusting God at this stage for breakthrough. And uh, what I see is that you are, you, you've been prepared completely for this breakthrough to happen. So um, it's just a timing thing. So everything is lined up. Everything is in place. The foundations has been laid. All you need to do now is just be patient. Go in a place of rest. Take all your cares and cast that unto Jesus. Because the breakthrough will happen. But now it's just a matter of timing. So everything is in place. Everything that's been done in you was done correctly the foundation is there and it's all steadfast um, so it's steadfast for him to build on top of that so yes um, the breakthrough is coming um, it's just a timing thing thank you god bless our next word is for solomon Ankoman. Um, god is showing me this picture of how you're like a leader in a, a leader position but god is saying um, even though you're like, and I see, even though you're like in this leader position, it's like everybody takes you for granted. It's like they don't listen to you. It's like everything doesn't fall in place like the way you want it to be. But God is saying, today I'm coming and I'm raising you up again as a leader. And I'm giving you the authority that you need so that people can see you. I have give you the authority to, to, to uh, take this leadership leadership position that I've given you and I, got, I see how God also comes in your life and God takes everything that's like disorganized and he creates order he um, orders everything he organizes everything and I just see how this position of authority that God has given you how it's restored and how when the enemy wanted to come and steal from you he didn't have um, it, it could not pro, uh, succeed in that God is restoring your position God loves you be blessed Solomon, God loves you very, very much. And God says you must not be afraid or ashamed to ask God for help. God says that he wants to become partners with you, that he wants to work with you to um, uh, do uh, work in your ministry or whatever, or work in your heart. God shows me how he gives you this, this bell that has a rope. And you, when you pull on this bell, you say, Lord, I need you. Come and help me. Come and be with me. Come and give me counsel. God says that he wants to be your counselor and he wants to give you advice but God says you need to ask for it because God does God doesn't want to like come into your little bubble if you feel like no God I can handle this by myself no you cannot you need God to come and help you and God says um, ask him to come and help you and he will come God bless you thank you Solomon for being here tonight Yeah, yeah, we're recording. Just keep going. Yeah, okay, we are recording. We are battling with the internet. The internet's gonna be fine just now. Uh, if yeah, I don't know. Uh, don't, just keep going. I'm gonna repost it afterwards. So, okay. Yeah, don't so worry about it. Yeah. The next word is for Premla. Premla, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just saw a picture where you went into a time of rest, where you just said. I uh, said, Lord, I just need to recover a bit. And the Lord says, come into me. Come walk into my promises. Because when you walk into my promises, my rest is not sleep. But my rest is restoration to your body, your soul. And I so love you. I so care about you. I just want to breathe my life inside of you. Uh, but you need to keep your devotions so that you walk through them. Because that's going to help you to stay focused uh, and to give you direction in life. And the Lord says, uh, don't feel judged or condemned, but feel loved. That is an instruction of the Lord. Be blessed, Premla. So, Premla, the word that I got for you is that your hands are blessed. Um, any work that you do, your job, you create something, it is blessed because your hands are blessed. And that is a gift that God has given to you that 
God really wants you to take advantage of and he really wants you to do stuff with your hands. God bless you. Hello, uh, Premla, uh, God bless you. I just see a lot of love coming out of you whenever you do things with your hand, cook or make something or help people. It's just love flowing out of you. And so the Lord is so pleased with you. Uh, God bless you. Uh, please write us a comment. So the next word is for Brett Peter. Uh, Brett, uh, the Lord is talking to me about a crown that is releasing on your life. And I actually see a kingly crown on you. And the Lord is giving me this word, a minister in the marketplace. And when you go out and about every day with your life and your work, then the Lord is going to put His Holy Spirit upon you and you're going to minister to others and you're going to bring the kingdom and the light and the love of God in that place. And the Lord says, in that place, as you minister and you're faithful to put my kingdom first, I'll be faithful to promote you, to bless you and to put my favor upon you. Brett, I also feel the Lord is bringing healing to your physical body. He's going he's gonna to touch that. I don't know if it's a back or if it's a, uh, some kind of muscle or a joint or something like that, that's, that that needs healing and the Lord is touching that. God bless you. Hi Brett, uh, I've got that you are a kingdom preacher. So you are called to become a preacher. Uh, you're probably preaching right now, but you may need to preach out of your own identity. Um, you don't need to copy or, or, or preach like other preachers. There's a, a, a God's going to give you your own word. You need to preach your own words um, and out of your own testimony. So that your own testimony is going to become your ministry. So you don't need to copy. It's your own identity and it's your own words that is releasing. And you're definitely called to be a preacher, but a preacher of the kingdom of God. Thank you. Keep well, Brett. My next word is for Kathy. Kathy, God is showing me this picture of like a ball of clay. And I see how God is like molding this ball of clay. And I feel like you are the ball of, ball of clay that God is molding you. But God is saying, my daughter, I'm not finished with you. I'm still in the process of making you the way that, you should, uh, that you're supposed to be. I feel like our God is saying that I'm still teaching you and I'm still molding you. And I'm still going to teach you for a while longer. And God is saying that you just need to bear with the season because the teaching is going to go on. And it didn't, I just also feel like our God is saying today is coming and it's restoring relationships that has been broken. Relationships that's not 100% way that it should be and he's coming and he's restoring that relationships for you today god is saying he's very uh, proud of you and he loves you very much be blessed kathy god says that you must live in the joy of the lord god says that he is in control and the enemy cannot stand against him and because of that that you can live in the joy of the lord that the father god shows me how he's lighting a fire in you how he is giving you a joy a, a physical joy that you can see and that you are physically happier because God is saying that he is in control and you do not need to worry about what is happening over there what is happening over there you say God you are in control and I am giving you that control and because of that I can live in the joy of the Lord God bless you Kathy thank you Kathy for being here tonight please guys I want to see your comments I want to see what the Lord is doing in your life uh, put Put your prayer request on. I see there's people that love to pray uh, for your prayer request. So uh, if there's something specific, don't complain. Ask for prayer and believe that it's going to happen. Uh, the Lord wants to bring miracles into your life. If the stream cuts, we are recording it. So we will uh, load it up later. Uh, but I believe we will finish this session strong so that you can hear us alive and well. Okay, so the next word is for Caleb. Caleb, the Lord loves you. And he cares a lot about you. I just saw uh, um, rapids in the water, like a river. It's rapids. Uh, but it's just turning the stones around and around. And you're feeling all of this turmoil in your life. But the Lord says, I'm removing all of the dirt that does not belong there. The dirt that has been clogged under the stones and all of that. So I know it feels a, like a rocky ride in your life right now. But you'll see the things that comes to the surface is... For instance, if you don't have self-control, it'll come to the surface and then you can know, ah, oh, that is a place where I need to work on. And then you pray, uh, Holy Spirit, I need the fruit of the Spirit so that I've got self-control. And when you start with that process, you will see, you will, it feels like you are delivered, um, but that is about self-deliverance that you're just going to walk through the negative things in your life to change it to positive. Be blessed, Caleb. Okay, 
Caleb, so the word that I got for you from God is that you should prune your mind. When, just, when we're just living life, we could get exposed to stuff that shouldn't be in our heads, and then they are. So then we have to come before God and ask, hey, I repent of these things that I shouldn't have seen or heard. Please take them away from me and then wash your, your, your head with the blood of Jesus. So, so that's what's so there's space in your head for in your mind for 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 God's God. God bless you. Yeah, awesome. Thank you, Caleb. Uh, I really believe you have a gift of creativity and to find uh, uh, creative solutions. Uh, and so uh, the Lord wants to flow through you in a pow powerful way. I say, God bless you. Please write us a comment. It will be good to hear from you. Uh, so the next word is for in our cup. Um, so you know the Lord shows me how you are a runner and how you get like a second um, breath. breath and energy and how you uh, almost wanted to give up and now you have energy to continue again and so the Lord says that's my power and that's my um, grace for your life and then the Lord says uh, you are going to shift and you're going to experience a change in your life but before you can do that you first have to receive in your heart the hope that God has for you and for your future that he is part of you and that he's got a good plan for you and then the Lord uh, shows me your will and the Lord says to me he's not going to force you he's not going to push you into a corner so you have to make a decision but he's giving you a, a free will so that you can freely decide and the Lord says that when you decide to be obedient to the leading of the Holy Spirit, then He will bless you. God bless you. Yes, hi. You know, I've got uh, uh, that you are a determined daughter of God. So, uh, but what I say, pick up is that your determination is, is on your own. It's, it's you try to do this on your own strength. It's like a marathon runner, as Joseph has said, you know, you want to do this on your own strength, but there is a, it's a time now where God wants to come and He wants to be your determination. So He's going to take over that part where you wanted to do it by yourself and He's going to lead you in the determination. He's becoming your determination. God bless you. Um, our next word is for Constance. Const Constance, God is showing me how He's taking you to the throne room. Um, and I see how God is giving you um, a seat of authority. In, in this throne room, after giving you the seat of authority, I see how God is uh, giving you full armor. And I just see how God is making you invisible to the enemy. And how God is like going to use you mightily for His kingdom. I see uh, and I feel that a mighty revi revival can come uh, from obedience. Um, yeah. God is saying that you need to be obedient and you need to follow and flow with the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit leads you. I specifically feel like our God is going to um, make you aware of the Spirit and make you aware of the, the people and the surrounding around you. And I feel like when you are obedient and when you listen to this, that a mighty, mighty revival can break out from that. God loves you so much. Be blessed. Okay, Constance, God shows me how the Holy Spirit is going to be released in your life. I don't know if you can pray in tongues, but God says that you need to pray in tongues because that is a language that the enemy does not understand. It is a special language that you have with God. And God says that that can really stir you up when you, when sometimes you don't know what to pray, you can pray in tongues because God knows what you are saying and what you are doing. Just by doing it, you are taking a stand like, God, I'm not talking to anybody else. I'm not um, co connecting with anybody else. This is a language that only you understand. God says that you must really ignite that. So if you, if you, if you aren't praying in, t if you don't know how to pray in tongues, get um, filled up with the Holy Spirit to pray in tongues. But if you are um, already filled up, God says that you must pray in tongues more. God bless you. Yes, Constance, I agree that you, every time you feel the devil is trying to frustrate you, pray in tongues, yes. frustrate him back. Okay, uh, please guys, I don't see much comments. There's, we want to see what the Lord is doing in your life. Is this word meaning something to you? Um, uh, I'm, I'm not sure, but let me know. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so the next word is for Dan Copeland. Dan, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a, uh, a picture of a wooden case that has been nailed shut. But if you do woodwork and you just put one nail 
straight in, it's easy to push the wood up. If you hit a cross nail, it's difficult to pull it up. And I feel that that cage where you are in is easy for you to break through. But you see this cage and you think it's impossible to break through. If you just start to kick and move, that thing will fall apart. It's not properly constructed. And I feel that has been that cage has been constructed by your own thoughts and your own thinking that was negatively inspired. So repent if there's repentance necessary. Uh, and then just say, Lord, I want my mind to be renewed to your word, to your ways, to your spirit. Uh, and then go and read Romans 12. Study it, meditate upon it, declare it upon your life. And you are going to become or you're going to break free. Be blessed. So Dan, the picture that I saw for you was a picture of a light bulb and you are the light bulb, but it's switched off. And you only want to have your light bulb shine when you, when you feel like it or if someone really inspires you with a, great, with a nice preaching and then you'll have your light bulb switch on. I'm s I feel God says no. You must continuously have your light bulb, your lights turned on, when it's ho even when it's hard or or when, when you're not in the right feeling or someone doesn't say something nice that makes you feel nice inside, you must still show the light of God and the love of God onto them and onto in, on, on your life. God bless you, Dan. Okay, so Dan, don't put your light underneath a bucket, eh? Put it high so it can shine and it's going to have impact, okay? Uh, so if I just add something, I, I see you uh, in, a, in a business environment that can sometimes be quite hostile. Uh, but the Lord says, when you bring the prince, the light, the love of God into that place, you are going to see a change. Trust the Lord. Don't fear. Okay? Also, with your tithing and your offerings that you give to the Lord, just trust the Lord. Give so into the kingdom of God, and you're going to see uh, a, a breakthrough for you with your finances. All right, Dan, please write us a comment. It will be good to hear from you. So, I would like this to say I agree a little bit with Ian, because we've prayed now. And only one or two people that we ministered for actually write us a comment. And there are some people that are faithful to write comments and I thank you for it. But not a lot of people give us proper feedback on our word. And it really is, is important for us that once you receive a word, write us a nice paragraph of feedback. Let me just quickly just point one or two out here. So, um, Al Alana, I, I see your comment. Um, and uh, I agree. You have to uh, pray in tongues. The Lord is going to give you breakthrough. Okay, so um, Ansi, thank you for your comment. At least you, you, you give us a comment and you're honest. Victoria, wonderful comment. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's quite a while ago. Uh, Heidi, uh, JL, you giving us comments we haven't even ministered to you. Uh, Gloria, also thank you for your comment. All right, so can you see this? Only like a few that you guys are giving. So uh, let's be faithful. Once you receive the word, to write us a nice comment and also to, ins to encourage everybody around us. Okay, the next word is uh, Tacona. So what the Lord is showing to me is many rings and all your fingers. And what the Lord said to me, that's like covenant and agreements with lots of people. And you feel you need to uh, uh, please a lot of people in your life. And so the Lord is coming to you and He says to you, No, let's take all of those rings, all of those agreements off of your life and we connect you with God's authority and His covenant that He has for your life. And you take on His uh, a mandate that He's giving to you. And I just feel there's an alignment that the Lord is doing. And the Lord says, if you're willing to come into that alignment that He has for you and with your life, then you're going to start seeing that blessing and that flow, that river of God. Uh, uh, flowing through you and and that is also along with that's going to come the opportunities and the finances and the connections that you need god bless you hi takona um i got for you that uh, uh, at this stage you are uh, bound by tradition um, and uh, i see jesus coming and he's going to set you free from that tradition so you know uh, it might be um, you know family members family issues again people's opinions is about you people's ideas or things that they say about you or just traditions that you're stuck in that you can't get out of now i see jesus coming and he's setting you free free completely um i see you jumping up and down and you're extremely happy because you will be free um you might lose some people on the way uh, but he will always give you better people back um, if it's family members that you might lose, it will only, only be for a season, but they will come back to you and they will say that you were right and that Jesus is Lord of your life and they will see it. Thank you, Tacoma. God bless you. 
Andre, God loves you so much. Uh, God is showing me this picture of how uh, God is saying there's a move coming. And I just feel like, um, you know, when the disciples were in the boat and the sea was like very, very rough and they got like very shaken because of that. And Jesus came and he calmed the sea. And I feel like that's what you've been through. It's been a, like a very difficult season and uh, Jesus came and he calmed the sea. And God, uh, Jesus is saying, um, because of those difficult years and because I feel that you had a loss, um, God is saying He's coming and He's restoring to uh, to you. I feel like God is saying that He's restoring more than he, that that, that you, you've lost. He's giving you more back. Um, that you don't have to feel that you lost in the past or uh, you came second. God is saying that He's making you victorious and everything that you lost, He's going to give you back. God loves you. Be blessed. Okay. Andre, God says that you need to declare that Jesus and God is the king over your life and you must let that um, um, guide your actions, that you mustn't, when you are around these people, God is now second place. God shows me how there is a podium and God must be first on that podium all the time, no matter if you're around those relatives or around those people you know, God says um, he must be first on your relative, um, uh, on your relative, on your... First, on the podium, God shows me how um, how Jesus must be your first love as well. That no that Jesus must be your first love. That you must know in your heart, I love Jesus. That He is my first love. There is nothing else on that pedestal that gets swapped out with Jesus and God every once in a while. Um, yeah, I hope you were blessed. Be blessed. Let's continue. I will read first. Okay. Sure. Okay. Uh, the next word is for. Amy Page. Amy, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just saw a picture of a dove and that dove uh, operates and works on your, uh, uh, your commitments, your declarations. And I just feel that some of these doves that you let go are empty, empty doves. Empty, uh, it's almost like an empty prayer request, an empty commitment. And the Lord says, come to me. I want to fill your declarations, your book of declarations, so that you can stand firm and that you will declare the word of the Lord and that word will uh, free you because the word of the Lord is true and it will bring forth a victory in your life. Be blessed, Amy. Okay, so Amy, I saw a picture of this book. It was a beautiful book and you loved this book. It was your favorite thing in the world. And this little toddler comes over and just scribbles Koki all over the book. And now it's it's ruined. And I feel God saying is, someone wronged you. They might have not done it on purpose. They probably, they might have not been mature enough to realize what they were doing. But they wronged you and, and they made you feel really hurt. And I feel God saying you should forgive them. God bless you. All right. So Amy, uh, God's hand is upon your life. And you are in a season of restoration or on the end of that. And so there is new opportunity and a launching that the Lord is uh, putting before you. So I see like a picture of an airplane that's being fixed and then it gets on the runway. And now the Lord is ready. You have to wait. He's going to say, take off. And then you can take off. So uh, the Lord is refilling you. It's going to do a great work in your life. God bless you, Amy. Uh, so please write us a comment. And thank you for coming on tonight also. Uh, so the next word is for... Ameridan, Muhammad. Okay, so Ameridan, the Lord say to me this word, dunamis power. And I felt that the Lord says, I'm putting my fire and my power of the Holy Spirit on you. And you're going to see unusual, supernatural miracles that's going to happen in your life. And how the Lord is going to touch you, it's going to heal you, but it's also going to use you in a powerful way. And uh, the Lord shows me that in your family line, there was many curses that the enemy brought against your life. And so the Lord says, I'm taking you through a journey where you, every, every plan of the enemy in your life is going to be broken and destroyed. And the Lord says, I'm going to give back to you what the enemy have stolen from you. And I'm going to bring full restoration, healing power and glory into your name. God bless you. Hi, Umeridin. I got... Um I saw this, this kettle, um, it, it looks like, well, I'm in the coffee industry so I know this, it's like a, a, a Turkish kettle, uh, it's got a spout that comes like it's curled like that and we, they use it to pour in um, coffee. So I see this kettle and, and, and uh, um, Jesus says that he wants to sit down and have tea with you, he wants to uh, bec become close to you and he literally wants to have tea with you. So you must go and make a pot of tea 
for him and you and him must go and sit somewhere and he will start talking to you and that's how you're going to start building a relationship with you. But that teapot also means that there's always going to be a consistent flow out of that teapot. So it's the, the, the tea in your life which represents the flow of the Holy Spirit will continuously keep flowing. Thank you very much, Amirane. God bless you. Uh, our next word is from Michael. Michael, God is showing me how He's like bringing new connections to your uh, to your life. I see how new people come into your life, and I see how they bring you uh, new joy. I see how God is coming and restoring the joy that that people have sto stolen from you. Um, I see there's been there, there was some past relationship where trust was broken, um, where things happened, but God is saying. He's taking that away, he's wiping that away, and he's restoring the trust for people again. I see how he's bringing those people, and I see how together in a circle, or together in a group, how you start to connect, and how you start like a prayer group, and uh, worship together, and uh, glorify God's name together, where you share like stories or and testimonies of what God is doing in your life. And I just feel like our God is saying that today he's bringing you a complete new restoration, and uh, he's restoring your faith completely. God loves you. Be blessed. Okay, Michael, God sh says that he is going to bless you spiritually, that he is going to open your spiritual eyes and he is going to open your spiritual ears and your spiritual awareness for the Holy Spirit to move. And when God moves and when God speaks to you, you can hear, you can know <laughs> that that was from God. Because sometimes when people think, they think they hear God and they think that was just me. The God said he's going to give you such a discernment that you are going to know that this is from the Lord. Um, God says that he is going to give you what you need because right now you need spiritual growth and you might want other things but God said that he is good, gonna give you what you need and when God gives you what you need you can really prosper God bless you Michael. thank you Michael for being here tonight please remember guys testimonies 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 we want to read and see what God is doing in your life so think about it we give the word that comes from the Lord mm. you need to engage with it and just try to comment uh, because yeah, when, if you don't receive it and if you don't engage with the word, not even writing it down, it's not going to be active in your life. It is conditional. Yes. Please focus on that. And if the stream cuts out, please uh, just go back. We will repost this live. We are recording it. Uh, so we know there's some issues. So we are just going to carry on. So sorry if your word is cut, but you will receive your word. Okay, the next word is for Daniel. Daniel, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just saw a picture where the nails went into the hands of Jesus. Even when it pierced His hand, He was thinking of you. And it feels like, Lord, I am left behind. And the Lord says, when they hit those nails in my hands, I was thinking of you. And I was thinking of the way that you were mistreated. The way you've been uh, um, bad mouth. All of those, thi those things. And I have paid the price for that. You need to walk in victory because I have the victory for you. If you're not going to walk in victory and you feel this is my Lord, uh, then you're going to struggle with it. But the Lord says, give it to me because I paid the price. So I rightfully own all of those negative things in your life. I want you to give it to me because I am the one that can and will resolve it in your life. Be blessed. Amen. Hello Daniel, so I feel God saying is He's going to do a deep clean in your life. Like if you have a dirty carpet and you hire a service and they find dirt that you didn't even know was in the carpet, God's going to do a deep clean like that in your life. It's going to help you repair broken relationships, get rid of relationships that aren't godly, find, find traumas for you to deal with that you didn't even know was there. But God's going to be there with you and He's going to do a deep clean in your life. God bless you, Daniel. Yeah, so Daniel, uh, the Lord has really called you to be a leader. And so therefore the Lord is holding you to a higher standard. And that's why He's putting His fire on your life. So that you can become holy and strong and mature to function in the call that He has for your life. But do not fear. I see uh, the wisdom of God resting upon you. And also that governmental crown that He's giving to you. And so you're going to go through this process of maturing. But you're going to stand before God as an amazing leader that He's going to use uh, as as an influencer uh, over the lives and into the lives of many people. God bless you, Daniel. Um, so, uh, guys, thank you for your comments. I definitely can see the comments pick up again a little bit. Um, 
So, uh, Amy Page, I, I see your note here, but I'm going to immediately after uh, this session, I'm just going to export uh, the, um, the video that we're recording on the camera. We got a, a card in there we're recording. So, I'll just uh, take that and I'll just uh, repost that for us also uh, onto the channel. Uh, so, probably in a few hours after the session, you can just look up there. It will be there. Um, also, I see Bethany. So, you want to be going to. Are we going to minister to Bethany? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so Bethany, you're right here, we're number th uh, four, but I think we ministered actually. Number four is Mary and Nell. That's the person that I ministered to. Let me just double check here quickly. Uh, yeah, so the one, the number four we minister. Okay, so Bethany, what we'll do, we'll put you on as number 31 and we'll minister to you right now. Okay, so uh, the next person I would like to minister is Darshan. So uh, Darshan, of, uh, Darshan, eh? so Darshan, this is what the Lord shows me. He shows me how He's putting His Word and His Spirit and His fire in you. And how there is just an explosion as uh, you take a, a bottle of champagne and you take the lid off. And it just bubbles completely over. And the Lord says, so will the love and the passion uh, and the fire of God flow out of your life. And even tonight we sit there and just see how the Lord is just putting His fire and His glory upon your life. And so the Lord says to me that the result of all of that is going to be uh, music that's going to come out of you. Wisdom, creativity, ideas uh, that He's going to give to you and the fire of God. And so the Lord is going to uh, lead you, He's going to teach you and you're going to uh, receive insight into what to do. The Lord also says to you, son, I'm proud of you because you are a servant of God. And I saw a picture uh, of, you know, in, in the old days they had those slaves and they would actually put a ring on the one ear of the slave and then they will tag that little, little earring and, and say this slave belongs to that person. And I saw how you were tagged for the Lord to say, but you belong to the, God, uh, to the Lord. And the Lord says, uh, I'm so proud of you. And so Darshan, uh, the blessing of the Lord is upon you. God bless you. Hi Darshan. I, I see you in a very dark place at this stage. And, uh, um, and, and it's like you're walking around and you're trying to feel your way to, to where you need to go. Um, but the, God is saying that uh, the glory of God is coming on your life. Um, so, so just keep walking, but, but uh, try to see Jesus where you are at this stage, in the dark place where you are, because He's going to be your light and He's going to take you by your hand. I see Him taking your hand and He's walking you out of that dark place and into this beautiful light, because uh, you're walking with Him and He is the light. God bless you, Darshan. Thank you. Our next word is for Obiowa Nwashuku. Obiowa. Obiowa. Okay. So, um, God is showing me how you've been eating like the wrong food like all your life. And God is showing you how, how He's like changing your diet. And He's like placing more vegetables and stuff in your diet. And I just feel like that is the, the word that uh, you've been <coughs> hearing and what God is like opening up in you now that uh, what God is providing in your diet right now how he's like changing the way that you eat and the way that you take things in and God is saying because of your diet change and because of the the, the more healthy things that I'm gonna give you now I'm just gonna strengthening you and I'm gonna there's gonna be like a a uh, total shift in your whole being and I just see how like the spiritual realm is like going to be open to you like a mighty uh, like a mighty bomb that is exploding it's like how you're going to see the spiritual realm opening up it's going to be like a uh, very <coughs> can't really say magical but it's going to be like out of this world experience to you. you're going to like really enjoy it and God is going to show you so much tremendous awesome things god loves you be blessed okay obioa god says that you need to honor the lord your god that you must give him honor and you must give him praise god says that you must let him move how he wants to move and that you must lean on the words that god says god doesn't say anything for nothing he doesn't say it as a suggestion god is 
saying that he wants to work in partnership with you that what God says is law that you must treat God as a king that he is a king and he doesn't speak to you for nothing and then there's a mandate that he wants you to accomplish and you must pay very close attention to what God says to you God bless thank you Abriella for being here tonight I see you were actively in the comments so I expect a big comment uh, I, th I see the Lord's going to give you a big breakthrough as well because you're eager you're dr you're driven and the Lord says that is a very good aspect okay the next word is for Leslie Van Vake. Leslie the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I see a picture of a car and you're sitting in the car and you're trying to start it and to start it and to start it and it doesn't want to start and the battery is almost flat but the Lord says you're out of petrol the problem is not turning the key and trying and trying you need to fill up your tank again you need to fill yourself up with a with the spirit of the Lord pray in tongues that's a very powerful thing that you build up your spirit uh, read the word of God uh, go through the devotions go and and ask the, the the Lord for instructions and fulfill the instructions that is giving to you and then you'll see it's like petrol in that car that your ministry will go from standing still to flourishing the Lord says I've got a big blessing for you I've got a big calling on your life uh, but I need you to work with me. Uh, be diligent, be consistent, and you will break through. Be blessed. Hello, Leslie. So while I was praying for you, I heard the music of giant and drum just banging onto to um, a really nice Christian song, which I the the name escapes me at the moment. But um, I feel God saying no. It, with during in the ancient times during wars they would have drummer boys drumming to hype up all of the warriors to get ready for the war to, and it was a very crucial part of the of the battle and I feel God saying that you are the the drummer boy that you are going to hype everyone up for this war that's coming I don't know what type of war but I feel God saying that you are called to to hype everyone up with with your drums God bless you Okay. Yeah, so uh, Leslie, uh, definitely I also saw a cheerleader and uh, encouraging uh, encouragement gift that the Lord has given to you uh, and also that the Lord is going to use you uh, with intercession and you know sometimes uh, when you do intercession you go into spiritual battle uh, to stand for your community, your family and your church and so the Lord is going to give you many breakthroughs just keep, keep uh, being uh, faithful and you're going to see how the Lord will promote you and give you a higher authority in the realm of the spirit so Leslie uh, please uh, write us a comment it will be good to hear from you so the next word is for Bethany to Bethany you write your your name earlier here and you said that you were number four and I just uh, I didn't see you there but uh, we I still felt let's just minister to you tonight so uh, Bethany uh, what the Lord showed me is how he is pouring new wine into you and so the new wine is the new technology it's the new revelation the new way of doing things and so the lord says you are going to go through a process of laying down the old of saying well now change is coming to my life and i can't cling on to the old anymore i have to change and so sometimes change is not nice for people but but uh, the new one is good and so that's why the lord does it in a way where you feel his love his, his uh, passion his uh, fire uh, that that comes into your life and so that 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 feels good but then to go through the the, the hard part of, of making those changes that's not always that nice but I just felt that the Lord says uh, um, uh, this is a season of change for you and so that's why he's giving you that word of new wine uh, the new one is a picture of the kingdom of God and the revelation that God is releasing to you and also the new focus that he gives to you God bless you Bethany Yes, hi Bethany. Um, God is saying to you, you, the last tonight, but definitely not the least. Um, so, because your name, uh, because there was a bit of a mistake to be getting, didn't get your name, and you had to literally stand up and, and fight for your word. Um, that's what you. That that's like a prophetic representation of what you used to do. You had to literally stand up and fight for your rights and fight for your own things. Um, Get, fight to be heard, fight to be seen, uh, but God is saying that He's going to do that for you now. He's taking over that place. He's fighting for you. So you'll never have to be the last anymore, because He said those who are last will be first. So He's placing you first now. And uh, um, I see Him literally dancing, and He's like, He's so happy. He's in one spot. He's so excited for what He's got for you. Jesus loves you really much, 
and uh, um, God bless you. Hey, awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, so uh, we minister to 31 people. We're going to be back again Monday evening. And then we will minister uh, to, to more people again. And usually on Monday evenings, we got a big team. But tonight, I'm very happy that we had on a Friday team also uh, a good-sized team uh, to minister. Uh, so I'm going to take this recording and I will just export it with the names next to it. And then I will uh, post it uh, for you. Uh, so I want to encourage you to go back, listen to your word, write out the word, pray about it, get instructions from God, and then see as you are obedient how that promises of God gets fulfilled in your life. God loves you very much. Have a blessed weekend.